toothed whales and dolphins use a process called echolocation to help sense their surroundings. They use it for hunting their prey and for navigation. Bats and some other mammals, such as shrews, are also able to use echolocation, as do some species of bird that live in caves. Echolocation works by animals emitting a sound and then detecting its echo. They are able to detect the distance to an object or the seafloor by measuring the time it takes for the reflected sound to return to them. They can also work out the density of an object and so what the material of the object is made up of. Very useful if you're about to eat it. They are also able to isolate their own echoes, so if they are in a pod feeding together, they don't get confused by other whales' echoes. To be able to do all of this, toothed whales and dolphins have evolved some complicated structures that enable them to make the sound, emit it, and then detect it. But not all whales use echolocation. Baleen whales produce sound to communicate, but do not use echolocation to detect prey and navigate, and so don't possess the structures needed for them to do so. Toothed whales use specialised air sacs situated near their blowhole to produce the sounds needed for echolocation. They pass air through the air sacs and pass a structure called the phonic lips. The membranes of the phonic lips are sucked together, causing the tissue surrounding it to vibrate. These vibrations produce the clicks needed for echolocation, which are then focused and emitted as a beam through the melon. The melon is composed of a mixture of triglycerides and wax esters, and its composition changes throughout the structure. The inner core contains more wax than the outer parts and conducts sound slower. The function of this gradient is to refract the sound, so focusing it like a lens. The sounds emitted are reflected back off an object, and the vibrations are detected by an oil-filled channel in the lower jaw and conducted to the middle ear of the animal. In the middle ear there is a fatty organ which transmits the vibration and converts it into an electrical signal to be sent to the brain. Researchers have established that when swimming normally, whales emit low frequency sounds which are used to detect their environment, such as the depth of the water and shorelines, and high frequency sounds are thought to stun and disorient prey when hunting. Another interesting fact is that in most toothed whales, the internal organs in the skull are squashed to the left so that there is enough room for the structures that help them echolocate. This gives them an asymmetrical head and whales that live in extreme environments such as sperm whales, belugas and river dolphins that rely on echolocation more than other whales have an even more asymmetrical head. How awesome is that?